superheroes to help you remember blood flow through the heart? Absolutely yes. That's what we're going to talk about today. So if you love high-powered, super effective, and efficient medical demonics, make sure to get subscribed. Hit that thumbs up. This is Dr. Anthony Metivier from MagneticMoneyMethod.com, and let's go. So when I started memorizing facts related to blood flow through the heart, I started with old rock and roll stars. Why? Because being old and tired reminds me with the rock part or rocks that they have deoxygenated blood. And because R is the same initial for right, remember that the right side of the heart is where the deoxygenated blood flows in. So you could imagine the Rolling Stones as rock stars or anything like that, just rocks that have no oxygen in them and that's why they're falling from the sky, something like this. And it is a very, very powerful mnemonic. So deoxygenated blood going into the right side of the heart. And then of course, to remember that the oxygenated blood goes into the left side, you could use something like Goldilocks, right? You probably know the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. If you don't, you could think of locks of hair, maybe, uh, Samson in the Bible, his hair, uh, anything to, to do with locks. Uh, Rapunzel, I think, is the character who lets down her locks of hair in the fairy tale. And you could think of the Loch Ness Monster. Many, many things. The important thing with really high-powered and effective demonics is that they're incredibly specific. You want them to be as personal to you as possible. That's what the science of active recall tells us. And you don't ever want to worry that you have just a bunch of mess of images in your mind because the science of active recall tells us that variety is the key to remembering more. So now we just have the heart divided, the right side, the left side, and we can remember just that the deoxygenated state is these old rock stars, right? And that old image is so important because it helps you remember that they're out of air. And then the left side, Goldilocks is like, hmm, this, this air is, is just right. Or whoever you choose to use, uh, Rapunzel and whatnot. Okay, so that's a big part of remembering blood flow through the heart, just which sides have which levels of oxygen. Now, in terms of remembering all these different words, this is where our superhero image comes in. Because if you have a word like superior vena cava, right? Like, what are you going to do about this? Well, I remember Superman, the movie, I think it was part one, the Richard Donner film, and Superman comes in at some point and he blows on a lake. And the lake that I have in mind is Lake Superior. So here's where we can draw upon other mnemonics that you may know, the Great Lakes, right? We have Holmes, H-O-M-E-S, Huron, Lake Ontario, Lake Michigan, Lake Erie, and Lake Superior. So now we're using other mnemonics to help us with these mnemonics. And if you don't know Lake Superior, then obviously you're gonna to wanna to think of something else, but remember our rules, deeply personal, and a lot of variety. So you may think of something else for superior vena cava. Well, what about the vena part? Well, I happen to know uh, an instrument called the vena, an Indian instrument, it's like a sitar, uh, but maybe you don't know that. So maybe you know that uh, Vienna in German is pronounced Wien. Maybe you don't know that. Well, what else are you gonna do? Well, you could change it a little bit and you could have maybe uh, some wine yards, you know, vineyards, and that can help you begin to come up with an image. You just want to look at the letter V, and then you want to think, what is going to remind me of this? Now, Kava, a cave, right? So now you can have Superman, for example, blowing Lake Superior into a vineyard that's in a cave, right? And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to start to trigger. And then when you review your material, you have these images in your mind. Ideally, you're going to put them in a memory palace. So if you don't know what that is, make sure you get subscribed and visit my website so that you can learn all about the memory palace technique. And that's a great inner mind review strategy. But one way or the other, these images are really, really powerful. Make them specific. So we've got Lake Superior being blown by Superman, which starts with an S also. That's why he's chosen Superman Superior blowing. And then it is going into a vineyard, veen, in a cave. Superior, vena cava. Now, inferior, of course, you're going to want to come up with something for that. And I would think of myself just looking at I-N and have Indiana Jones. And just have Indiana Jones 
having an inferior day, or he's somehow found some inferior grapes in that vineyard, in the cave, same cave. It can be in the same mental space. Let's take another example. What if we have atrioventricular <laughs> tricuspid valve, right? Well, that's a lot of stuff there. I would just start, for example, maybe myself, I'm drawn to this tricuspid, and that's why I think of Trinity from the Matrix, and she's maybe, you know, riding a bike, and she's on the cusp of a building, that she's driving off the bike off the building, you know, and maybe the Cupid is there, and that helps with that word. Uh, and, you know, you've got multiple words here, so now we want to add on atrioventricular. So what are we going to do for that? Well, maybe she's being eaten by a horde of zombies that are grasping at a vent, let's say, on her motorbike. And now eat and ate is not exactly quite the, the same thing, but, you know, you, you just play with it. And you can figure out lots of images for that, and it's going to be a lot easier if you have this all laid out on a memory palace. Now, when we talk about the memory palace technique, which is really just layering images in space so that you have a mental reference point to go back and go, what was happening there? You could use your own heart, or you could use just this image right here and just imagine in that space that there's this bike going in there so you can remember this tricuspid word. It's a lot of fun to uh, think of it that way as well. And another thing you can do, and we'll be talking about this in the future, is use a mind map. And so that's another powerful thing. And mind mapping often involves a circular clockwise like structure. There's a, a lot of information here. I wouldn't necessarily put all of it on a mind map, but in a mind map, you could literally just draw in a circle around a picture of a heart, your images, like maybe four at a time uh, for getting started. Now that's going to create a, a, the need for a couple of mind maps, but that's no big deal. In any case, I like to work without mind maps as much as possible and just start to think imagine a, a heart on a wall or something like that and just think, okay, so superior vena cava, you know, like what was there? What was happening there? And then th those images, they, they've already helped me remember it, right? Uh, and, you know, the same thing with the, the blood flow through the heart, deoxygenated on the right side and then oxygenated on the, the left side. That image of the tired old rock stars, it just instantly screams deoxygenated. So it can just be totally conceptual. All right, let's let, let's look at another one here just for um, argument's sake. If we have something like the mitral valve, we want to remember now this alternative word, mitral. We could just have simple mittens. Now, if we're using Lake Superior and Superman, you know, it could, it could be very cold up near Lake Superior in the winter. So it's like a logical association to get that in there. And, of course, uh, the solitude of fortress that Superman goes to is also all made of ice. So you could still use Superman, and this would help you just add mittens to his hand and maybe even imagine him right in this area in the heart in order to have a kind of reference point but reuse the same figure. So if you imagine actually just sticking with Superman in all directions, you could think of how to get Superman to interact with brachiocephalic artery, for example. And you know, you might have Superman putting the brakes on a safari truck, right? Brachiocephalic, <laughs> that's so cool. He's, a, he's driving, and this is a safari adventure here, and he's just like, oh, I gotta put the brakes on here. And it's his safari truck, so cephalic, safari, brake, brachiocephalic artery, amazing. And then you have Superman come on over here, and the carotid artery, left common, you just figure out what it is that you're going to do. Now we've got Goldilocks for left already, so maybe we use her again with Superman now, and he's feeding her carrots, and they're a little bit too warm, you know, <laughs> whatever, to make it more uh, memorable for you. All right, let's look at a couple other examples here that I got for you. Pulmonary valve. So the pulmonary valve, I think of Bill Pullman, at the pulpit. Now, Bill Pullman's an actor that I really like. You might not know him, so you might want to think of who else that you could use. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to think. Like, there, he's, he's one of a kind. Uh, really, how many people have that name that are famous and in lots of movies? So one thing that you might consider is just looking at the letter P, and maybe you have pr Prince, something like that, and he's pulling his tongue out to wipe the pulpit. So now you get the P sound, and you get the pull sound, and you get 
you know, they th- use the pulpit to double down on that pole sound. And then you have Munary. So you could have a, 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 he's washing a bunch of money on the pulpit, which, um, you know, some people say there's dirty money involved in these things. We've got one more example for you. Before we go, make sure to get subscribed. And if you want to come on over to my first video, Master Medical Terms, I think you're going to love it. And in there, you'll see an opportunity where you could win a copy of How to Learn and Memorize Medical Terminology. And of course, on my site, I have for you the ultimate list of medical mnemonic examples, which I'm growing all the time, but already it's an abundance of examples like these that'll help trigger your memory for even the most complicated terms. So one more for you. Let's say we're doing the aortic valve. Now, just to keep safe, I wouldn't use an image that that a big corporation uh, owns, uh, like Eeyore, for example, from Winnie the Pooh. But a donkey is like Eeyore. I think that's what Eeyore is, is a donkey. So aortic and Eeyore, not exactly the same, but you could imagine a donkey in this area of the aortic valve. And if you, you know, are still having problems with that sound, you can think about Oreo cookies in the Arctic. Now notice this is an opportunity to double down because we have the Fortress of Solitude with Superman, Lake Superior being very, very cold. And we have also the basic sound of Arctic in aortic. So if we think of this very cold place, like an Oreo that has Uh, like, I mean, Oreo cookie that has this white, creamy center, right? Well, aortic. We can put that together, Arctic and Oreo to get aortic. And we can have Eeyore there uh, or or any donkey that you can, you know, otherwise think of a a word for, for donkey that I'm not using right now. But you just have that in that space. You have it in a memory palace. Maybe you make a mind map drawing and it's just easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's uh, some of the ways that you can deal with remembering blood flow through the heart. I've got a whole article on it linked down below. Remember, just try to make sure it's more specific. I got a generic image here of some older rock stars, but I'm really thinking about the musicians in Rolling Stones, Roxy Music, and be as specific as possible, but always try to go into your own mind and think what's personal to me. What could I do using the alphabet to just link one thing to another? And before you know it, you'll have everything on this diagram memorized. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thanks again for joining me. This is Dr. Anthony Metivier from MagneticMaryMethod.com. And until we have a chance to speak again, keep yourself magnetic.